Hey guys, this is GHPK with a new phone. This is Mi 4i grey version and this was delivered to me just a couple of hours ago. So what I did initially, I when I booted the phone first time, it showed me a notification for an update. It was quite a heavy update of 846 MB or something. So I did that update. Once rebooted, I got another notification for a new update available. It was for version 6.6.6.0 LXIMICF. I don't know why they uh, release update with such a complex name. Anyway, that hardly matters. So I, what I did, I ran the second update also. It was just 41 MB. And upon completion, I did read a lot about this update and this um, this update seems to have covered a lot of issues so as you can see the latest version is already installed on my mi4i this is version 666.0 and uh, this is also based on android version 5.02 and uh, this phone is a 16 gb version and i am very disheartened and i well, as soon as this phone got delivered i noticed that they are coming up with a 32 gb internal storage version and just a couple of thousand expensive anyway what i got i am happy with that the phone is very snappy and is very good in performance and i'll be doing a couple of hindi videos for the mi4i review and some technical stuff in that i'll try to cover it in hindi also so please subscribe to my channel before i begin with the routing process of this brand new mi4i which got delivered a couple of hours back i have not yet installed any screen guard still this is a gorilla glass but uh, i'll do have a tempered glass installed in this for uh, extra protection the back camera lens i don't know whether this is a gorilla glass or not but i am quite worried about scratching this glass so i'll also show you how to protect this tiny camera lens and uh, let's begin the routing process to root this device you'll need two files one file will be the super su zip which you will get from the chain fire website i'll put a link in the description second file you'll need a twrp.img which is the custom recovery and is in the image format and finally you will also need at the moment you will also need to have the access to a pc to reboot this phone and push the recovery there are two methods to re reboot this device currently one is to access the twrp recovery in a temporary mode where you just get it for a single reboot into the recovery twrp recovery and once the device is booted next time you go to recovery it will reboot into the stock recovery itself the mi recovery and the other option is to overwrite the stock recovery and have twrp as the permanent recovery installed on your phone i currently don't know whether if i'll be able to install further updates further ota updates after installing twrp so let's begin with the routing process you have to download the super su zip from chainfire website once you have downloaded you need to connect the phone to the pc and have that zip file copied to your phone then you will need to download the twrp.img which is an image file and you need to also copy that to the phone memory after connecting the phone to your pc you need to copy those two files to your phone memory and once the files have been copied you need to reboot the device into the fast boot mode to reboot into the fast boot or the bootloader mode you need to turn off the device first so gently press the power button wait for the power options select power off confirm it and wait for the device to get switched off once the device is switched off you need to press the volume down button and keep pressing that button then you have to press the power button you can release the power button once you see the fast boot and this is the fast boot mode i was talking about once you are into this fast boot mode you need to plug in your usb cable which is connected to your pc or your laptop once this is done you will find your pc is able to install 
Android bootloader interface. Make sure all the drivers for this phone is installed on your PC and once it is done where you have the executables for ADB and fastboot and you can easily press the shift button down and then <coughs> right click on the folder it will show you a menu like this where you have an option open command prompt here open a command window here and this will show you a DOS window the command prompt is open uh, first I am going to show you how to temporarily install the recovery and reboot directly into TWRP I have already copied the TWRP.img to this folder and once this is copied you just need to copy the command fastboot space boot space TWRP.img and once you press enter the recovery will be flashed and the phone will reboot into the TWRP interface you can see this recovery has now free reboot for TWRP and this is developed by and ported by Mac DAG so once you see the TWRP interface you can safely remove the USB cable from the phone select the install option scroll down to the place where you have copied update super SU version 2.46 at the moment this will be for this version will change when there is a new available super su.zip by the chain file developers so once you select the zip file uh, option will come to swipe and confirm the flash of the super su you can see the progress and read the content now this has installed the super su and it has unmounted the system and the data partition update and this has been done now it is up to you whether you want to reboot to the system or go back to the TWRP main interface and you can also wipe cache and Dalvik cache from here but uh, for routing it is not required to clear all those caches at the moment you can safely reboot to the system so after flashing the super su.zip the phone will take a minute to reboot phone will boot to the home screen so once the phone comes to the home screen you will find a super su icon on your home screen and you can just install any root checker or like uh, i prefer using any root explorer kind of program which can tell me that i have the root access so now i have installed the es file explorer and i will click on the root root explorer and it I uh, instantly got prompt by a super user request from super su I allowed the super user access now let me go inside the file system and as you can see I can very well go and edit inside the system folders so to install the TWRP recovery as a permanent recovery instead of uh, having it MI recovery on your phone you just need to switch off your phone let it completely shut down it will give a short vibration to confirm the proper shutdown once it is done the procedure is same like before and hold the volume down button then press the power button and it's in the fast boot mode now connect the USB cable which is connected to your PC or your laptop once this is done you need to go back to your PC and access the same or the new command window which you have opened ABD interface so once you are in the command prompt for ADB interface you just need to copy and paste a command which is fastboot space flash space recovery space twrp.img this is the same folder where you have put that downloaded twrp image file and just hit enter and it is flashing recovery on your device and you can see it has completed flashing of recovery in 0.399 seconds and once this is done you can reboot the device and uh, access the recovery once you have permanently flashed the TWRP recovery the phone needs to be either rebooted into the recovery or to the desktop to the system so now if you press the up button and hold it and then press the power button now this is into TWRP recovery you, and uh, you can access all the 
features you want to access or you whatever customization you want to do you can just complete it in TWRP and then reboot to the system there are a lot of reboot options you can reboot to system you can reboot to or you can power down the device you can reboot to recovery again and you can re reboot to the bootloader or the fast mode method so this is how you root and install TWRP recovery on your MI4i 16 GB version I hope you'll be interested in seeing more customization on MI4i devices so please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned I'll keep you guys posted with the progress with MI4i phone thank you for watching this video have a nice day